I'm on ready, bro. Hello. Hi. Um, may I present Bobby Young? Hello. <laughs> so, um, so, bro, um, we've come to see you. Wait, let's have a look at the cars, man. Uh, I wish this is mine. This one very sweet, la. but this one, oh man, it's got the flat wheel arches. Yeah. RS6. I thought you got to sell this one. No, this is the one I just got. Oh, you just, oh, you got two at one time. Uh, this and uh, the white the one. Repeat. Yeah, oh, the repeat. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've taken the wheels off that one as well. So I saw your video, you sold the uh, XC90. Yeah, I You sold I, the RS4, right? The S4. S4. Uh, yeah. In order to get these two, unfortunately, I have to sell my other cars. Yeah. Because life is short. Life is short, man. Life is Carpe short. Carpe diem. And uh, now, wrong timing. <laughs> so bought the cars, and then now, COVID-19. I'm not sure how the economy will, will do. I'm not sure if I'll survive, but I'll try. There's, there's only one way, man. That is forward, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll so um, the, the the difference between me and some of these car owners here is that they are rich, so they buy cars like that, and I'm not. I buy cars by <laughs> throwing out my loan documents, wishing someone would approve it, and when they approve it, I go like that. <laughs> That's how. Bro, it is. I so so when when Kobe Bryant died, right? You thought to yourself, fuck it, lah, right? Now is the time. Now now is or never, right? It's sort of sort of thinking, you know. Uh, we won't know what will happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The next day, we, we, we just wouldn't know. Yeah. So, screw it. Hey, talk us to your repeat, man. Come, let's oh, have a look. Yeah. It's being roughly dismantled now. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Fuck, that is a good looking car, man. I think Aston's are the way they do their cars. Yeah. Fucking yeah. beautiful, man. It's, uh, it's what is this, 20 inch? 20. Uh? Wow. Uh, it's basically a Aston Martin baby. Everybody will call it a sedan, which I don't think is a sedan because I have a six series, which is a big two door. Coupe. You used to have a six series. Yeah. Sold uh, that one already, lah. Supposed to sell. It's currently still with me. Yeah. Supposed to sell. So that car is about the same length. Yeah. And it's a huge front door. Yeah. And it can actually fit four person. But every time when I shifted my seats to let my kids come out. I kept thinking, why can't they do a small door at the back so that the rear passengers, yeah. however rarely it's being used, can go in and out. This is huge. Is this the only four, four, four seater that they make? Four door that they make? Uh, it used to be the only four door that they make. Now Aston makes a uh, SUV. They're oh yeah, they did SUV. the... Um, oh, it's not yet named, right? Yeah, they, it's, it's called the DBX. They're DBX. making a DBX and that will be a, a, the four door that replaces this. So is this the one? This is the car that you're going to go drive from KL to London in? I hope. I hope I could because uh, I really want to make that trip. Yeah. Uh, from KL to London, but now financially I can't. I I, I I I can't afford to go away six months without working. I still have the funds to do that, but it is something I look forward to. And last time when I when I was thinking about this trip, everybody would automatically think about Toyotas. Yeah. And Toyotas, all Toyotas, all Land Cruisers or something, kinda, right? Yeah, right. But what what made me suddenly think is that who couldn't reach Europe in one of those cars? Yeah. The and what's the fun in that if if all you care for is just to arrive? But what I want is during the drive, during the journey, uh, I want to experience the, the sound, you know, the joy of driving. And of course, uh, this car has a V12 engine. Uh, let's have a look. Can we have a look? Uh, I'm not sure if I can open the bonnet now. Uh, so this is the repeat, yeah? Yeah. That's a good looking fucking car, man. Yeah. Oh, I like, so, I like the strut bars, man. So uh, this is original, all this. Uh, Shit, a 6 litre V12, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So uh, these kind of engines are dead. No car makers will make them anymore because they are big, they are thirsty, they are... They, it's rather empty Greta Thunberg, basically, yeah. Yeah, right? So everybody is going downside. It's a big up there, so the so tree huggers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, to celebrate the death of V12 engines, I was thinking of doing a crazy road trip to, to Europe in, in a V12. When are you going to do this? Uh, my daughter is still very young. She's four years old now. My son is... 
nine. So I hope I can do it in the next five years. Okay. So in the next five years, my daughter. Hey, did I hear you on, on YouTube saying five years is too long? You were trying to do it in one year, right? No, 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 no. Five is the maximum that I gave myself yeah. to prepare for this. Maybe in the next year, I'll run into a financial problem and I have to sell all that. Yeah. I, I'm not sure, but I was hoping to be able to do it before I turn 45, basically. So I can. So yeah, you're 40 this year? 39. I'm 39. Is this, a, is this a midlife crisis, bro? <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to cars, I've always had midlife crisis uh, when it comes to cars. So I hope I can now work hard, save enough money, and when my daughter is about 8 years old, and my son is about 11 or 12, then I can pick the two of them at the back yeah. and bring my whole family on a journey from Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar. If I go the Iran route, yeah. I will have to pass by India, Pakistan, Iran. Yeah. Yeah. Or if I pick the China route, which would be the easier route, when everybody say that because the road systems in China is brilliant. Yeah. If I go to China, I have to go to Russia, Kazakhstan and all that. Yeah. To uh, And eventually we reach Turkey. Turkey, Greece, and all that, then we're in Europe. So that was, that's the dream. That's the dream. Did you ever think about how much money you might need? I don't know, I mean... Um, um, to be income-less for six months and... Um, I don't know, 200,000 maybe? 200,000? May maybe, I'm not sure yet. I yeah. haven't done the studies yet. Maybe less than that, if we camp out or whatever, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm Actually, not sure. that'd be quite cool, right? You have an Aston, and then you camp uh, under the stars. <laughs> And then I finish all my money and then I come back, I can sell the cars. Yeah. And then you, yeah, I mean, you're young enough to start again, right? Um, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Actually, 200,000 uh, is nothing nowadays, lah. It, it is something. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have that kind of money now, but, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'll just try. I'll just try, you know. So, very different from the usual uh, owners of cars like this. Because they were saying, some of my friends were saying, oh, this is the first Aston Martin with, uh, without a single digit number plate. Okay, I haven't seen. I can't afford yeah. a single digit number plate. No, would you want to lah? Too much attention, no, I, I, right? I can't, I can't afford. Yeah. I just plain out can't afford, so yeah. I just buy a normal number plate, you know. So. So so what is the what is the road tax on this fella? It's uh, fifteen thousand. <laughs> fifteen thousand, holy oh, shit, man! The road tax is is fifteen thousand six hundred plus. And something then something like that. So, and then insurance. Insurance, I forgot, but basically the road tax is more than the insurance. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. It's so it's about time, th maybe 30 grand a year or something? Um, no, no, no. The insurance after deducting NCD and all that should be about... Because insurance follows the price that you bought a car, right? So so I think the insurance is about eight or 9,000 or something like that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy amount, but I take it as a license or to, to, to be able to drive cars like this. And uh, initially I was thinking, yeah, I pay road tax, it goes to the government, but it benefits the country anyway. Yeah. And uh, that's that's my thought. Uh. So hey. I hope the government can can actually recognize road tax as part of our income tax. You know? Interesting. I, I don't I don't mean to make it deductible, but let's say if I'm if I if I'm buying a, a house and the bank wants my income tax form, by right people who pay a lot of road tax should be able to show that hey we're contributing more, you know? Yeah, because it still goes to the government, right? Yeah, it still goes to the government, right? And uh, this is honest money. This is money that yeah. I could have feed my child. No? <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. You're right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's my... So, I mean, Aston dream, Martin. You, you made it happen before you're 40, man. That's, that's a big deal. It, it still belongs to the bank. Uh, thank you, Maybank. <laughs> but but my loan. but the name on the on the car is yours, lah. Uh, the loan is on my name. The car is <laughs> <on> the <laughs> name. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if I don't pay it, maybe I will drag it away. Bro, what's your what's your approach to um, cars and money and investment and all these things? I'm someone who has zero knowledge on investment or whatever. I never bought shares. I've never invested in anything. I've never gambled. Uh, I don't even gamble during Chinese New Year. Uh, That's very rare for Chinese, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I need to fill in for someone, if I win anything, I'll just give back the money. Wow. Uh, I used to be very, very good in playing snooker in my teens. I almost joined the national team. Oh, wow. 
yeah, a national player actually come and ask me to join them for training to see how well would I would I get. What's your highest break? Highest break is uh, I I did not exceed hundred, but it was ninety plus. Wow, that's yeah, bloody good. That man. was my highest break, and uh, that was the time I was sixteen, I think. Shit. And um, sometimes friend will ask me to gamble. You know, you know they call it the lucky ball yeah. numbers and all that. I will return the money most of the time when I win because sh- definitely I win my friends I win over my friends but I'll, I'll return the money so I don't get burned so when it comes to investment and all that I have zero knowledge all I know is just that I love cars and I'm lucky enough to be in a profession that I earn my living from cars and that's just all I know yeah <laughs> <coughs> and then of course doing business lah. so uh, that's, that's the other thing which you do business is my right? passion so yeah. basically that's, that's how it is it's pretty cool man um, not, not many people get to combine their business with their passion, right? Yeah, um, and that's why I think right? I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I'm very lucky in that sense. But the fact that you can buy one of these, a uh, 6 liter V12, um, sometimes you forsake wisdom, not conventional wisdom, because this is still value in one way, right? Value yeah. to your passion, value to what you like. Yeah, um, it's just that. It's I a different kind of value, lah. It's not. You know, necessarily I'm a cash. very, very strong believer that I might die tomorrow. Kobe Bryant, right? I might. I just might. So, um, so you basically what you believe yeah. in is you're living in the moment. Yeah, I, 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 I never even quarrel with my wife because there's no point. I mean, yeah. if you, if you always think that this might be the last day you see this person, why would you want to quarrel with her? Correct. Or with, with, with anything. So. That's how I believe it is. Uh. I believe every time we see each other might be the last time. Wow. That's, that's what I strongly, strongly believe in. Well, why do you believe that way? Why do you think that way? I don't know, man. It, because if, if it can happen to someone like Kobe Bryant, it can, if, if, if it can happen to any one of us, right? Yeah. I, I don't know, man. It, it, it might just happen. Did you, did you have a different mindset before Kobe Bryant? I've always had this mindset before Kobe Bryant died. I've always had this mindset. Ever since... I think ever since... College days or wow. no 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 when I when I started working like this. So yeah. so copy the M right? Live in the moment, right? Yeah. Shit, uh, man. Alan Watts. Alan Watts. Live fully now. Who's Alan yes. Watts? He's the philosopher who said this, live fully now. You can search Alan Watts, you will hear it. Uh, what he said is there's no use constantly worrying about a future that when you are there you are still worrying about another future that hasn't come yet. You know, if then you will not be able to live fully now. Yeah. So this is what he was famous for. This this whole thing that he said, live fully now. Is what what the hell, is. man. Yeah. That is actually really powerful, right? He's a philosopher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, <laughs> man. Fuck. Yeah. I think um, Volvo has an app. Volvo has an advertisement whereby it just shows the car moving and then with Alan Watts recording at the back, this philosopher, you know, and it shows people doing something with their lives other than working. Like they wake up earlier, they go cycling or they bring their canoe out and go and yak, go kayaking or whatever. Basically, they are living their life instead of, it's not just working, sleep, working, sleep, working, sleep, working. Yeah. I guess that's, that's just yeah. Right. I mean, we spend all our lives working, and then for a future, which for retirement, which uh, might never come, right? Or even when you're old yes. enough, 55, 60, you can't do the same kind of stuff you did when you're 35, yeah. 40. Most people say that uh, you should save up money, buy a house, you know, passive income, and all that. Save up your money and all that. The funny thing is, the the habit of our parents asking us to save up every single cent would make us grow up to be the billionaires that we all love yeah. and say, why are you saving up all your money? Yeah. But that's what your parents taught you and that's what his parents taught him. Yeah. So sometimes I will say things like, I salute the rappers. They earn five million, they spend five million because the money goes back out to the people. Yeah. Instead of people, someone like Jeff Bezos, he has umpteen billions in his bank account, which he would never use it or change it into some charity funding which he controls but doesn't need to pay tax. You know? So do you, do you not believe in savings? Do you, do you have any, are you someone who says of fuck course, it, zero in the I bank? Hope I can have savings yeah. but I think we only need what we need now. Yeah. So, again, 
if you if everyone is worried about their, their their future, everyone will be very selfish, not spending, not willing to work. The funny thing is, society sees it as a good trait. Wow, look at this. Yeah, rewards. This man, yeah, he is so humble because he wears a Casio watch. And sure, he, I know a bunch of people like that, and man. And he has fifty billion in his bank account. And then they talk shit about this guy, who who is a boxer who earns his five million. And he spends his money because when you sp- money doesn't disappear, yeah, money goes to someone else's pocket. Yeah, and I see these people as being more, con- they contribute more to society when they have the c- capacity to earn so much and then they spend, then they earn, then they spend. It goes yeah. back out to the economy. Right? But the funny thing is, um, some people who do that they say it comes back again. The more they spend, the more I I've heard people literally say yeah. the more money they spend, the more money they earn. Yeah, it's but, crazy. But the one percenters, they are the ones hoarding. They're yeah. hoarding all the resources, hoarding all the, the, the options and all that. They, I don't know why they hoard so much. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think if you've got 10 years on me, um, maybe 8 years. Lah, and I'm, I'm at that age where, like, fuck, man. Any day could be your last, you know. Um, okay, lah, whether it's virus or whether it's some plane crash. Yeah. Helicopter, right? Kobe yeah, Bryant? Man. Yeah, man. I have a little bit of sore throat now. I don't know whether I have COVID-19 or not. I no might la. have COVID-19 and then next month I'm not around. I, I do not know. Well, even then, if you, know, if you do have COVID-19, um, what, what, what are the chances of you dropping that? Like 0.3% or whatever? I don't know. You're young I, enough. I, I, I'm not sure. What I, what I really admire about Aston Martin is uh, they try their best to, to do every single little thing. Let's say most cars have a door handle here. Yeah. Uh, that's just like one piece of plastic screwed in you know if it's an expensive car they put leather what Aston does is this this, wow. this is a single piece of mill aluminium metal metal and there's a magnet here so, so it sticks out huh? yeah gorgeous and it's so that's metal. how you release the door handle yeah that's, it. that's the door handle that you use and uh, even the lids the, I don't know whether you can see it look at the hinge it's a one piece metal beautiful and this is also one piece metal and there's magnets here so when you close it, it just oh, in sweet, yeah, sweet. beautifully and every single button every single button you see here is milled from a single piece of aluminium even the knobs yeah all these are metal everything is metal it's real metal yeah well look at the seat configurations man yeah so it's you don't see this kind of detail in a Merc though do you? Oh, oh of course not I think comparable to this would be uh, actually on this one. Yeah. But for me, it's not about the luxury part. It's, just it's the performance. What's the output on this fella? Uh, this one has 560 horsepower. Fucking hell! And uh, 630 newton meters of torque. But what I like about this is the the idea that they go out to build something so ridiculous, you know. Yeah. It's a lengthened sports car yeah. with two seats at the back that can, you can fold down. Once you fold down, it's almost like a wagon. You can put a lot of stuff in there and uh, sorry that's the glove box that they took up so it's even leather right yeah of uh, course of even course the insides leather. are leather so they, they, they they're trying to uh, everything uh. what year is this model 2015 okay so well look at the flush exhaust pipes <laughs> I'm happy but I'll be happier if I bought cash so I yeah. don't have a load yeah, yeah. This one also you can take ninety percent loan or? Um, no, this one I took a. Uh, let me calculate. Uh, then, uh, I took a sixty percent loan. Yeah, loan. You put your other cars down uh, for this one, right? Sorry. You put down payment from your other cars, lah. Yeah, I just sold everything and then uh, throw in all my money. It's yeah. really long, man. This car. So yeah. totally long. That's so a new uh, generation Aston Martin. Oh yeah, what is this? It's this a is GT. A DB11. Oh, it's a DB11. DB11. Yeah. So this is a beautiful car. Uh, oh, high tech. Not by mine. This is really high tech. This one actually. See this? That's the wind. Uh, deflector. Deflector. So the wind will go in here. The wind will travel through this hollow carbon fiber boot lid. Yeah. And then the air will come up here, 
and becomes an invisible spoiler. So when it comes out here, it increases the pressure of this F downforce and it pushes the car down. Yeah. So most cars they put a big wing, but this one puts an invisible spoiler. Can I know, man. Very clever, very there can't be a lot of DB 11s in Malaysia. Uh, not, not too many, quite, right? They're, they're, I mean, really? increasing in a big number because, put it this way, it's the, about the price of a Porsche 911. No kidding? How much yeah. is this? One million ish. So, it's the price of a 911, but when you look at it, it looks like a proper, GT, beautiful, it's sleek and sexy, right? 911 is classic and all that. But Wow. What is how many what what is the engine size on this fella? This is a 5.2 V12. So mine is a 6 liter V12 without turbo. Yeah. This one is a 5.2 V12 with turbo. Wow, the smell of the leather is like oh, wow. Yes, oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Aston Martin baby. They just make the best interiors lah. And this is the only AMR in Malaysia, the only DB11 AMR. What does AMR stand for? Aston Martin Racing. Okay. So it's like a special version. It's an AMG for Mercedes. Look at the size of those calipers, man. Oops. <laughs> 